making a baked spaghetti. So um, let's go ahead and start. Come on in. All right, so we've got our pan with the water in to boil. Typically, we put a little butter in there, but we're not doing that right now. And then I got my pan here, all right? While the um, water is coming to a boil for our pasta noodles, we're going to go ahead and brown, or should I say white? Since it turns white, it doesn't really turn brown, but it doesn't matter. The point is, we're gonna go ahead and cook the ground turkey. Now, you can use ground turkey, you can use ground sausage, you can use ground beef. And if you have a kid, he's not gonna allow you to cook anyway. This is exactly why our parents cook spaghetti in the first place, it's because it's quick, it's easy, and Season your meat to your liking. I use salt, pepper, and garlic powder. All right, so I have one kid doing homework, the other kid eating cardboard. So I need to make this quick. Um, we're gonna use the Mueller's uh, pot size spaghetti because it's just convenient. You know, always trying to do something that's simple. Um, I'm probably not gonna be able to open this and hold the camera. That's why I had Cruz doing this for me. Uh, the water has come to a boil. I'm not gonna use this whole box. I just literally put like a little bit in there. And, um, well, I put like a lot in there. I use almost like the whole box. <laughs> almost the whole box. <laughs> and um, let that come to a boil for uh, 10 to 12 minutes. I'll let that cook for 10 to 12 minutes rather. And we're gonna check on it in a couple of minutes. For my sauce, I use one jar of ragu, saute onion, and garlic. to simmer together before I add sugar and I'm gonna add a lot of sugar <laughs> that we know if it's too tomatoey or acidic-y, then we need to add a little bit more sugar. And that's what we're gonna do, add more sugar.
side of the spaghetti is thoroughly mixed with the meat and the sauce, we need to transfer it to a baking pan. Here is where the real magic happens. In order to make a bomb baked spaghetti, you have to top it with cheese. So I've already placed a layer of mozzarella cheese and now I'm topping it off with extra sharp cheddar. Then we're gonna place it in our preheated oven at 375 for 15 minutes or until the cheese completely melts. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also make sure that you leave a comment below, subscribe and hit the bell for post notifications. Thank you so much. Take care of you.